The GoPro Hero 12 released just over two months ago. The reviews are heavily mixed. People either call it the best one yet or pretty disappointing for GoPro. I personally think the Hero 12 is a great camera for GoPro, but when you take a look at the competition, it definitely starts to take a dive. The action camera market is the most competitive it has ever been, with the Hero 12 DJI Osmo Action 4 and Insta360 Ace Pro now releasing. So it's time to ask the question, is GoPro still the king of action cameras. What's going on guys? It's Ray here. Today we're going over whether or not these cameras are still worth it today. Since the release of the Hero 12, the number one question I've gotten asked is whether or not GoPro is still worth it. And with the holidays and the new year approaching, I thought it would be a perfect time to go over which cameras you should be looking to buy. Let's start off with why GoPro has seemed a little disappointing lately. Back in August, we got leaks showing a GoPro Hero 12 with a full 1-inch sensor, 8K video, 4K240 video, and more. Of course, these turned out not to be true, but the hype was unreal at the time. And the Hero Hero 12 ended up debuting with smaller upgrades like HDR video, longer battery life, and a few others. Let's fast forward to right now. The new Insta360 Ace Pro camera was just announced. It films an 8K video, yes that's right, 8K, and even has a flippable screen. These are two features GoPro fans have been wanting for a long time, and here they are available on a completely different camera, all of which at a pretty similar price compared to the Hero 12. The DJI Osmo Action 4 is also a new and great option. I know a lot of people who are very happy with this camera, and many who will never return to GoPro after using it. GoPro revolutionized the camera game when they started releasing cameras, but somewhere around the Hero 5 and Hero 6, they started to become stale. GoPro's stock and revenue dropped, and many wondered if the company actually had a future, especially with the development of phones. Luckily, they were able to rebound with the Hero 9, and things have been pretty steady since. But the movement to leave GoPro for other action camera companies continues to grow every year. So are there actually any good reasons to stick with GoPro and the Hero 12? Well, there's actually a surprising amount. Over the past few years, GoPro has stuck with some more minor upgrades with its cameras, kind of fine-tuning them along the way to have less overheating, longer battery life, better functionality, and the highest quality of video possible. It's been a while since GoPro has added a new headlining feature to a camera. The last one I can remember is back with the Hero 9 with the front facing screen and 5K video. However, the little upgrades they have added do make a big difference. HDR video on the Hero 12 is enough alone to make the camera worth it. This makes a huge difference in video quality, and the battery life is noticeably better than before. However, with these minor upgrades, it means that a year after year purchase of a new GoPro isn't necessary. Whereas over that same time, DJI and Insta360 have made some pretty huge upgrades in their annual releases. And with GoPro kind of staling out and these other two action camera companies coming out with some revolutionary features, it makes it very tempting for consumers to switch over. Now these days, all cameras can record in 4K or better. It's the hardware and extra features that make a camera great. With the Insta360 Ace Pro, 8K video is insane. But if you don't have the right sensor size or video presets, it won't have the best look. This is where GoPro can win the argument for not upping specs in a while. But I guess it really comes down to individual preference. I know a lot of people want that highest resolution possible, while other people don't really care about the specs too much. Okay, so we've gone over all of the features on these different cameras, GoPro's competition, and why people are deciding to switch over. But all in all, should you stick with GoPro, especially right now? It is a very tough decision because all three of these big action cameras are all pretty much the same price. Now, if you have the money, it's never a bad idea to start trying out different products to see what you like best. However, I know that most of us out there can't afford to go out and buy cameras all the time, and when we go out and get one, we want to make the right decision. For me, I will be sticking with GoPro. I love the Hero 12, but just like a lot of you out there, I'm always hoping for a bigger release. At this point, it's almost a must that GoPro has to come out with something pretty big next year to stay competitive. However, if you have trouble with your GoPro, if you're one of those people that complain about overheating and freezing, it's probably 
probably time to try another camera. However, GoPro is still the classic, sleek, and all around Swiss army knife of action cameras. A lot of people are wondering whether or not GoPro is still on top of the action camera game and why the heck there's such a big movement of people switching over. My conclusion is that it's because GoPro has gotten kind of stale with its annual releases. Like I said, I do think that next year GoPro has to come out with something pretty big if they want to stay on top like they barely are right now. So do you plan on picking up the GoPro Hero 12 or do you plan on getting another camera? Make sure to let me know in the comments section down below. That is going to wrap up today's video though. Before you go, smash that like button, comment down below what you think, and most importantly subscribe with notifications turned on so you never miss out on awesome videos just like this one. I'm Ray Tiller and I'll see you on the next video.